so the colleague from the Città della Scienza della Salute so is a, a sort of uh, an environment of a hospital, but has together hospital and the University of Torino. So we, we can. So. Uh, everybody already know regarding Alara and the specificity that we can see regarding um, the question of the medical field. So we have to manage the radiation dose to the patient in order to be commensurate on, on what is. Uh, our proposal, and uh, here dealing with uh, with this approach on CT, but all, all the session is dedicated to CT, and this is uh, it means that it is very important. It's relating on 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 a part where is in continuous evolution, and so the the relationship between the quality of imaging from one part and the dose from the other is continuously evolving. So just also as in the first presentation, sorry, but uh, uh, it, I am lucky because it's a different uh, sources. Uh, we can see that in the advanced country, we have here in the figure just only the things related to, to Europe, but in general, we have around uh, 150, 250 exams per thousand inhabitants. And uh, uh, here, just to give a view, uh, in the same web of the OACD, you can uh, try to, uh, to have uh, the data for different countries. And I try to compare US with uh, France. And we know that US has a number of exams very, very uh, higher. It's, uh, just uh, in some years. Here we have the plan from the last, uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, 10, 15 years, just to see that there is an increment, an increment, uh, an increase uh, uh, up to not, not 300 per 1,000 inhabitants, but uh, near for the uh, US and uh, lower also for the, for, um, for the European countries. And what we can see also on the, on the number of exams. In this figure that is taken from those, those data made to, that is a European project, you can see for three different uh, uh, exams, they are specifically of very interest in the last period, that is fluoroscopy, CT, and interventional radiology. We uh, have here the frequency, so the percent, considering all the X-ray exams, just to give an idea, for Denmark, that is easy, we have 20% of all of the exams are dedicated to these three type of exams. And if this is 20%, the red one is related to uh, CT, and we have approximately 50% of all the imaging. And in Italy is lower, and we have approximately 10%. Just to give an idea, so 10% related to CT in this situation. And also, in the same uh, project, the do document, the dose, dose data method two, we have attention also of CT, or, or, sorry, of the, the dose in general, because it means, okay, 10% is something lower, but that depends on the, low, uh, the dose compared to the other exams. And if we can see here, it's uh, quite uh, complex, but uh, Look at the green and the uh, red uh, line. These refer to the same project for the same countries, European countries, in 2008, the green one, and the red one, 2014. So it seems that we reduce the dose for the same exams, and this is OK with, from our point of view, because the dose reduction in CT, it seems is a major target for all the professionals. And uh, I can say also the manufacturers is very, very important. And uh, for example, the idea that is uh, the goal for the manufacturers in this, uh, in this period is uh, to reduce, for instance, for 10 mil from 10 millisievert to one millisievert, so one order of magnitude, the dose. And here is an example in this report for the summit of management of uh, uh, radiation dose. And you can see here is uh, not uh, our work because it's in general for abdomen and pelvis. 
The idea is that if one use all the different uh, approaches that can reduce dose one after another, so successive uh, dose reduction approach, you can reduce, and for instance, this is the iterative uh, uh, reconstruction of, uh, of the imaging, you can achieve, this is the evaluation from 10 to 1.1. So it's very, very important. What is the reality that we are facing now in this field? So in the past, uh, the approach was uh, from the operator and on the basis of their personal <coughs> skill or the skill of the staff, to go and balance the kilovolt, the milliampere, and so, and to see what, uh, and, and to foresee what will be the image noise and evaluate the dose and the manager. Now we are facing a situation that is well changed in the reality because we, are, we have uh, uh, automatic uh, devices, so with software in order to apply these, and the, the, the idea is to uh, uh, reduce the dose on the basis of this approach, uh, and the, the reduction of the dose can be, but the point of attention is given regarding the noise uh, of the imaging. So we look at uh, the level of acceptable noise. Acceptable noise that in the practice is acceptable noise in order to, to see and uh, to read as I imagine. And uh, in the practice also is called the desiderable noise. So that is very strange. So no, normally the noise you don't, you don't desire. But acceptable noise, desiderable noise. So it seems that in this technical view, so our uh, level of acceptable and reasonableness is related to the noise in this. And then we have this approach, this, uh, this complex uh, uh, iterative uh, um, yes, uh, algorithm for the reconstruction of the image that is very, very important. So the choice is on the acceptable level of noise for the final image. So our final image, the, the image, the best low uh, doses that we can have is related to the image and the acceptable level of the image is that we need at least comparable to the image that we had in the past. So this is. So the question, the point, important point is the image. Then the new devices uh, reduce, uh, reduce the dose, but our attention is on this. And so for instance, also this iterative uh, algorithm reduces the noise, as we uh, expect them, and reduce also the, uh, the artifact, artifact, mm -hmm. as we can see here in this, in this way. So our, uh, uh, the, the group and uh, the work here is presented is related to the Italian experience regarding the aorta examination. So why the aorta examination and why so much attention on this on, on the angiography? Because this gives a possibility to find some abnormalities that may be very, very important also to save uh, the, the life of the, of, the, of the patient. As we can see here in the first one, we have an aneurysma and so a reduction of the section for the iliac arteria. And this is, I think, is very nice. We discussed a lot with my colleague, obviously. This is a, the colleague for the University of Turin, the, the, the slide, and we discussed a lot because we you can see here is the aorta, so the section of the aorta. You, you can see the aneurysma, 
the aneurysma is so big that go to the bronchi and give a problem in the respiration. And another point, very nice in this, sorry, is also this one is the aorta. And I say, oh, oh wow, is the aorta here and here? Because you are in this area with the double possibility. Another point that is just to say how is delicate and important to have proper imaging of this and a proper resolution result from the, the CT or in this angiography is, uh, for instance, the dissection of aorta. You know, aorta is a vessel. We have different uh, uh, level of, uh, of walls with different elasticity and so. This is a dissection. So it's cut the aorta here, oh, wow, wow, on the long here. But just the last, the last, uh, the last wall. It, it is important. So, due to multi-scan performed for each CT, we have for the patient can reach tens of millisieverts for each exam. So very high level of dose, but you can see is very important because if you, if we don't realize that is maybe is. Uh, uh, broken completely and it's a very, very, very big problem. So uh, the, the group of Torino dedicated on this part uh, uh, published uh, a paper after uh, some times uh, in order to put uh, in, uh, in order a, a, a protocol related to the optimization of this kind of exams for different patients, so for different uh, size of the patient, small one, medium one, and big one, and compared with, uh, was, so make a, a status of the research up to now that we can find everywhere. And it's important the reduction of those and also this parameter re related to CT, uh, CT uh, computer tomography dose. The reduction for the most important uh, data we can find in literature to give a range for the reduction of dose from uh, 23 and up <coughs> to 50 percent, as already was mentioned from Canada. Now you mentioned around 40 percent. And uh, in, uh, in this work that was making in Italy, the level of attention <coughs> is about uh, 47, so we are in this range, but the important thing is the uh, preparation of a protocol. So the preparation of a protocol is means that not is patient to patient, you have to invite something to invite in, uh, to, to search something new, but uh, have a basis of the discussion with uh, phantoms of different uh, uh, structures, so the small ones, the medium ones, the large one, and evaluate. And I think that this is very important, not only for one hospital and the other to have the inspiration about this, but just to work together, all the team, all the members who are involved in order to find a protocol. Because you buy a new machine and the, and the, the manufacturers make a, send you a technician and say mm, 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 like this, but you have to have an idea really what you are doing and what is the situation on the basis of the patient. And uh, one, I think they were lacking they had the possibility to find 20 patients that already make an exam so with the old approach, with the old devices, and now with the new one. And they look at the reduction of those with, in any case, the attention of what is the real point as it is the image quality, the same level of image quality. And just what happened after this question of the new protocol? For the technical point of view, we, 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 we have clear this, uh, this procedure with the phantom. This is, they prepared the proper phantom with the aorta inside and all the vessel and all the things. It's not a normal uh, phantom that you can use for, for just for dosimetry in, for, for the professional. It was, it was uh, uh, dedicated in order to evaluate this. And the attention 
is on the best equilibrium on those reduction and noise index. It seems that the noise uh, uh, question is very, very important because this is uh, the, the attention. So the collaboration inside with uh, the different professional figures. And then they organize already starting from last year and then this year, say so one day years, the uh, um, divulgation, the dissemination of uh, all of this attention with the days of courses in order of work uh, together with the phantoms. <laughs> that is very, very easy. And in particular, we can see that to, to find uh, the technical parameters and uh, this uh, approach of, of uh, this algorithm, this new algorithm, and to, to have an idea of what the algorithm is uh, working because otherwise it can be dangerous. And you can hear the, the person who are involved in, in the lecturer, and they are part of uh, uh, radiographers or uh, uh, radiologists, uh, medical physicists, uh, and all the figures that are involved. Some are from uh, Torino, from uh, other from other, typically from uh, from Rome, also involved, because they needed to have the same level of experience in order to open the dissemination of this point. And the discussion is. Uh, Yes, yeah, so you, you can see the discussion is, is, is easy as we, we do now, but entering in, you, in, in this question, you need a real a sort of courses and real school. So what is the experience? The experience is that in order to implement the ALARA principle, so just to reduce those in this, but in order to have the results that you need. So pay attention to the noise and the electrode of the, of the imaging is rather complex. So from the technical point of view, up to now we talk just on the technical point of view. So it is important as a staff training and obviously the cooperation in Lansing, uh, the, the, the protocol and the cooperation also on using and uh, disseminating this approach, in particular in this continually changing approach of the imaging. And uh, this aspect also attracts the mediatic interest, and uh, sorry, obviously is in Italian, the risk of radiation. And the idea is uh, just to reduce the, the risk is important to, to have the commitment of all the professionals who are involved in this. And uh, yes, just one, I translated just uh, in summary some sentence. One is that we need in hospital standard optimized and unique uniform protocol. So the idea of having a uniform protocol, maybe the protocol can be some different, but it's important not to reinvent completely, but to, 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 to share the experience and to have something in order to, to work in together, and this is very important for Italy, uh, uh, through the country for an optimal use of the radiological equipment, and not only useful to to buy the last version, but to know what is. And uh, then uh, another point is that the various professionals involved, involved uh, as already summarized, share the objectives and the method in order to guarantee the access of the person to have the best uh, value. So this open a, a, a big <laughs> discussion regarding the possibility of accident and error in, 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 in such kind of machine. And in order to, to, to see, to, see the, uh, to apply from the exposure the ALARA principles. So we have ALARA principles also in our Italian media related. And uh, another point of the experience is that in all these uh, fields, the patients are, po are, are, are posed uh, in, uh, in the middle of center and all these operations to, to the patient. And uh, who take care of these operations are all the professional, as you can see here. But also we have to thank uh, science and the technical development that we can have in the field. The work is committed by manufacturers and other professionals we have. And also, no, sorry, and also to 
pay attention to ethics in the practice because uh, the idea not just uh, to to see yeah, I have to repeat uh, this but uh, to 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 have a culture and awareness also in what is your work is important and in this education and training uh, is uh, it's uh, really a mandate for this very very useful and uh, last <laughs> last but not least as normally is given is the economic aspect the cost for this is very very important and uh, it became a sort of, uh, of uh, uh, main point uh, that of, uh, of the different companies. So we have some brochure of the different company in order to, to say, we reduce the dose by our last version, so like, like this. So those reductions have become an element of strong competition among uh, the city manufacturers in these years as we can see this one and the others and we have more about uh, this with uh, just the to to give an idea sometimes we we said regarding uh, the the question of optimization and uh, those level with uh, with uh, green uh, green yellow and so colors here is uh, used for this communication aspect and we can see that this compared for instance with natural background and so we have this approach at least for the different uh, new apparatus for 20 from 20 millisievert to point, uh, point 0.5 millisievert. So <laughs> it's, a, it's something, it's became a commercial uh, uh, market. Look at this, <laughs> and this, uh, like this, uh, this, uh, this brochure. But also, uh, attention, I also hear um, when it comes, the radiation less is more. In any case, less is more, that is too much because in radiation and in radiotherapy you need radiation, otherwise you don't have the therapy. But uh, the, the attention also from, from the manufacturers and also from the hospital that are proud to have the last version. Consider that the tomography of these uh, models, so the cost is about uh, hundreds of thousand euro, and this, for instance, is an, ex is an example. Not problem with this hospital, but I find very nice this uh, this title of the journal. That is, uh, this uh, tac is a CT. Uh, you understand Italian? Yes, CT that reduces the dose eighty percent. We have a machine that is like a Ferrari, our Italian machine that is the best machine, and the hospital is proud to have this. And I think that these are our point in the reality that we have to pay attention about this because we have the question of optimization regarding the uh, reduce uh, reduction of the dose and uh, the level of noise. And this is a technical uh, question. The other questions that we have to take into account also is the cost that you have for this kind of machine. So one question that we discuss with uh, the colleague is how, how, what is the level that we would like to extend the dose reduction for this? And uh, what is the level that at the one point we say we, we, we have to change all our machines, so all our uh, car of our garage in order to have the last version. And this is another point uh, that uh, is in, uh, in Alara as long as reasonable, reasonable from the technical point of view in order to have a good machine, but reasonable also taking into account also the, the ethical and societal aspect, including the aspect of uh, mm. cost. How low can we go? Always we have to, to have in mind that the main object is, is to, to have the exams that is correct, so reduce the dose, but at the same time to have the result of the exams. So the level of imaging has to be a, a good quality that guarantees that the light, right level of, 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 the, of the report that the doctor can do. So, low dose protocol, but have to be 
robust enough for this. And so we have to take attention also to the um, economic aspect. On this uh, question, we have not only, obviously, Torino, all the parties, the professional, we are, uh, we are also involved as a different uh, association for medical physics and for radiologists and for technicians. And also we have this document from Istituto Superiore di Sanità, who is part of the Italian ministry, and they uh, dedicated this document in 2017 on, uh, on the level of diagnostic reference level and uh, the attention is obviously on Alara and uh, it repeat uh, practically what I, uh, I summarized before so we are facing a period with uh, these uh, iterative uh, algorithms that reduce and uh, change our point of view and it is very significant on CT but we have to pay attention on what we are doing on this so the last two, two slides there is the introduction of this, as I told before, iterative reconstruction algorithm, and the, the attention as already done in, in, uh, in Torino is also on the size of the patient, and there is a, a group also study the, the attention for, for the for the size of children and attention to the children. And this, just to say, they are not from Torino, they are distributed in Italy, and I would like to mention that this colleague, Sergio Salerno, he is uh, the, 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 the chief, the responsible, the, the president for the, the part of radiological protection for our Italian society of radiologists. We have more than 1,000 of radiologists and a group, not all, all the radiologists, as already was mentioned before, uh, has great attention to radiological protection as it is. But we have a group that is dedicated to radiological protection within this, and he is the president of this group. And the children, why is the children? Because the children, you know, have different uh, uh, size and also we have to pay more attention because they are expected to, from the radiological point of view of a longer life. And uh, what is the idea that is part also of uh, Alara approach? Look at this, this is a choice towards uh, reasonableness. And it is the case that the hospital, for instance, one hospital has the last version that is reduces the dose, but has also other tomography and uh, said, mm, how we choose to be reasonable, we consider that the children has, and the younger has longer life, and the other mm, less, and uh, we, we divided and we use the older uh, tomography for who are more than 50 years and the new version for the younger one. And this is, I think, also a question related to the approach. And you think, mm, wow, no, it's not like this. We have to do the best for everybody. But in hospital, maybe don't have the possibility to change all uh, the, uh, the, the tomography with the last version. Don't have to change all, have to continue and uh, to change uh, just, uh, just one. This is a question that we have to take into, into account and probably the idea to divide it on the basis of the age also is like this for the different uh, kind of uh, attention we have on the basis of age for other type of, uh, of uh, uh, radiation exposure. So what is reasonable? What is reasonable? Uh, we say that change with time. So what is reasonable today depends on the most current technology that is available. And we gradually give us the technology even more advanced uh, devices, uh, we think uh, this is one point of what is reasonable, the technologies that advance, and perhaps also we would like to have this at lower cost, because this is another point of uh, interest regarding the reasonableness. And the ethic and the societal aspect, so both uh, 
uh, help us to choose and who choice. But yes, we have the professionals, the patients also who are involved, the family of the patient, but the choice from the economic point of view is the level that the hospitals are are organized with other hospital and at the level of governmental level in order to give them possibility to update their their apparatus so what is reasonable uh, or not is related to our feeling and our evaluation of the today option and then is linked also to the circumstances, so the type of health case that we can have, the need to have information on have the patient criticality and uh, and to and the our will to act in a proper way, and then also balancing all the aspect, and we have to think about this. Thank you very much. Thank you.